Today's lesson is on triangles, and specifically it's on classifying triangles. And we're going to classify them based on two things. Uh, number one, the length of their sides. And so we're going to be taking a look at the sides. And then the second part of our classification is going to be based on the angles. Uh, and you'll know that <coughs> all triangles will have two different names, one that's based on the sides and one that's based on the angles. So let's jump in and try to figure out these things. All right, in order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know your angles. First of all, you'll have to know an acute angle, an obtuse angle, and a right angle. And uh, you'll also know that any triangle, if you added up all of their angles, it would equal 180 degrees. Uh, and that's based on uh, quadrilaterals being 360 degrees and a triangle being exactly half of uh, 360 degrees. And so you have two uh, triangles equal both equaling 180 degrees if you added up all of the angles of that triangle. Here's our notes for uh, today's lesson. How do I classify triangles by the sides? And how do I classify triangles by the angles? And again, all of the triangles we're going to be taking a look at today are going to have two different names. All right, first of all, we're going to be practicing classifying triangles by the angles. Here we have three different uh, names for triangles, right, ang or right triangle, acute triangle, and obtuse triangle. Uh, and these are just also names of angles. And so this is what we're looking for when we're looking for angles. We're looking for a right angle, we're looking for acute angles, and we're looking for an obtuse angle. So let's take a look at the right angle and see what defines a right triangle. Uh, and that is when you have one right angle. Now, in a triangle, you can't have two right angles. It's impossible. So we're just looking for one right angle. And there it is right there. You'll see a little square corner most of the time. Uh, and, you know, you should be able to recognize a right angle at this point. So if you see one, you know you have a right triangle. The second one we're going to be taking a look at here is an acute triangle. And that's when all of the angles are acute. So you see that this angle here is an acute triangle. This angle right here is an acute angle. And this angle here is an acute angle. So all of the angles are acute. Uh, and therefore, this is an acute triangle. And then the last one we're going to be taking a look at by the angles is an obtuse triangle. And that is when you have one obtuse angle in your triangle. And here is the obtuse angle. It's a more than 90 degree angle. The other ones are going to be acute. So you're not looking for three obtuse uh, angles. That, that's also impossible in a triangle. So uh, we're just looking for one obtuse uh, angle and then we would name that an obtuse triangle. So that's one part of the name, naming it by the angles. The other part of the name is classifying by the length of the sides. All right, and these uh, names are not quite as easy to memorize as the, the angles. <clears throat> uh, so let's take a look at each one. There are some triangles when you have zero sides being the same length, right? No sides being the same length. Like this side and that side and that side are all different lengths. And so if you have that situation, you have what's called a scalene triangle. It means no sides the same length. <clears throat> Moving on. If you have all sides having the same length, then you have what's called an equilateral triangle. And uh, you can see it almost says equal in there. And then lateral, uh, we should know that by now that that means sides. And so each one of these sides is exactly the same length. And you'll also know that each one of the angles is also exactly the same measurement. So equilateral triangle means same side length and also same angles. And then the last one is when you have what's called an isosceles triangle. And that's when you have two of the sides of your triangle being the same length. All right, so this side over here is the same length as that side, but it is not the same length as the bottom side. It's pretty obvious that these are, uh, you know, the sides going up are a little bit longer than the side going along the bottom. And so when you have two sides the same length, you have what's called an isosceles triangle. So that's the second part 
of our uh, classifying triangles. Let's practice a little bit. All right, take a look at number one. And we're going to be classifying each triangle by the measure of its angles and by the length of its sides. So let's take a look at the angles first. We have a 60 degree angle here and another 60 degree angle there and another 60 degree angle there. So all of them are under 90 degrees. And when you have three acute angles, you call it an acute triangle. All right, second part of our classification is we're going to classify them by the length of their sides. So when we have zero sides the same, it's a scalene, two sides isosceles, but all of these are the same length, six meters, six meters, and six meters. So if you have three sides the same length, you have what's called an equilateral triangle. So this is an e acute equilateral triangle. All right, again, two names, one based on the angles, one based on the sides. All right, let's take a look at number two now, I'm trying to find uh, the angles here. All right, I have 75 degree angle, a 75 degree angle, and a 30 degree angle. All, right, all of those angles are under 90 degrees, and so uh, I have, uh, that makes them acute angles, and so in that triangle there are three acute angles, which would make it an acute triangle. All right, so that's one part of the, uh, the naming, and the second part of the naming is how many sides are the same length? And up here we had three sides being the same length, but in this one we only have two sides. All right, so this side and that side are both eight uh, inches long. I'm talking about this side here and that side there, both eight inches. And then the other side is three inches, so we only have two of the same length. And if you have two of the same length, you have an isosceles triangle. So this triangle right here is an acute isosceles triangle. All right, moving on to number three. Um, looking at the angles, I see one acute angle in there, excuse me, obtuse angle in there. 104 degrees is uh, greater than 90, which means it's an obtuse angle. And therefore, this is an obtuse triangle. But what's the other part of the um, classification? We have a side that's 33 millimeters, one side that's 24, and one side that's 13. Uh, and so we have zero sides being the same length, and so we have an obtuse scalene triangle. All right, last one. Classifying by the angles. Well, I don't know the angle of that, and I don't know the angle of that, but they're both acute. But this one's not acute. This one's a square corner right there. That's a right angle. And so if you have one right angle, you have a right triangle. Again, one right angle equals a right triangle. And now we're going to be looking at the length of the sides. Uh, we have a 9-inch side, a 9-inch side, and a 12.7-inch side, or foot side, excuse me. And so we have two sides being the same length. Looking over at my notes now, uh, if I have two sides the same length, I have an isosceles triangle. So that's a right isosceles triangle. Just remember, you're going to have um, two different names, one based on the angles, one based on the length of the sides. It'll be good to have your notes uh, ready uh, while you're doing that, so please prepare them now. All right, moving on now. Sometimes you're going to have a triangle algebra, and we're going to have to find the missing angle. Right, and so on number five here, you have two angles, 70 and 70, but we don't know this third one, which is N. Now, <clears throat> all angles, or excuse me, all triangles are going to have 180 degrees on the inside of them. Right, so what we do is we take 180 and we subtract all of the angles that we do know. So that would be 70 and 70, subtracting from 180, that will equal our third angle n. And again, if I just know 180 for all of it, I subtract one and the other, I'll be left with uh, the third angle. So that's 180 minus 70 plus 70 is 140. All that equals n, and then 40 degrees is n. So n equals 40 degrees 
in this uh, number five triangle. All right, number six, you have uh, two angles that you know and one angle that you don't know. A lot of people look at this and say, well, I, I don't know this angle here, but hey, look, it's a right angle. That's a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to take 180 and I'm going to subtract 55 and 90 from that. <clears throat> and so I will add them together before I subtract and that will equal N. So 180 minus 145 equals N and then 180 minus 145 is 35. So N equals 35 degrees. And I should put the degrees in there because it's that's what it is. All right, taking a look at number seven now, you have two angles of a triangle. They equal 85 and 55. What's the measure of the third angle? Now, you don't have to draw this to figure it out. You just have to start with 180 and subtract what you have or what you already know about the, the angles. It will tell you the missing angle. So I'm going to subtract 85 and 55. All right, so I add these up and subtract it from 180, and that will give me the third angle, N. So it would be 180 minus uh, 140 equals N. And if you can't do that in your head, off to the side. Make sure I was right on that. Yep, okay. Uh, and then the last thing is evaluating here. 180 minus 140 is 40, and that equals N. So the third angle of the triangle would equal 40 degrees. Our task today is out of the homework book H10-5. We're doing problems 1 through 13. And a reminder, all triangles are going to have two different names or two different classifications, one by the length of the sides and the other by the measure of the angles. Good luck.